the project team outsource inspecting the pressure vessel's project deliverables with a third party. The third party inspector has just completed inspecting the pressure vessels for correctness. What should be done next by the project manager? A. Ask the customer to implement quality control process. B. Ask the customer to check the pressure vessels for acceptance. C. Implement the quality assurance process. D. Issue a change request. To answer this question, we need to understand the difference between quality control process and validate scope process. The validate scope process differs from the control quality process in that control quality process is concerned with correctness of the deliverables while validate scope process is primarily concerned with acceptance of the deliverables. The control quality process is performed to measure the completeness, compliance, and fitness for use of a product or service prior to user acceptance and final delivery. This is done by measuring all steps, attributes, and variables used to verify conformance or compliance to the specification stated during the planning stage. The verified deliverables obtained from the control quality process are reviewed with the customer or sponsor to ensure they are completed satisfactorily and have received formal acceptance of the deliverables by the customer or sponsor. Let us now answer the question. A. Ask the customer to implement quality control process. Incorrect. B. Ask the customer to check the pressure vessels for acceptance. Correct. C. Implement the quality assurance process. Incorrect. D. Issue a change request. Incorrect. If you like this video, you can subscribe, turn on the bill, share it, like it, and write comments so that this channel can provide more videos.